Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about the three slash four-ish books that I read in February. February was the shortest month of the year that is out of the way, but I almost finished four books. Let's just get right into the wrap up. And the first book that I finished is War Cross by Mary Lou, the first book in the War Cross duology, I think is what you call it. I don't have it here with me, it's in my dorm. But the beginning of this book sucked me right into the story. So we follow our main character. Her name is, ooh, I've already forgotten it. That's not really great, right? <laughs> so our main character's name is Amika Chen, and she has been struggling her whole life with finances and just her life in New York but her dad has passed away not too long ago and she's struggling even more to make ends meet. Her way of getting money is by being a bounty hunter for people in the Warcross game. So Warcross is this really immersive video game that everyone uses and everyone is obsessed with it and um, she is a bounty hunter for like illegal players or people who make illegal bets and stuff like that and every single year the creator of Warcross holds this like championship this like tournament and Amika accidentally glitches into the tournament 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 Amika accidentally glitches into the tournament and she thinks that she's gonna get punished real real bad but actually the creator of Warcross Hideo actually wants to use Amika for this mysterious thing that has been going on and she gets swept into this mysterious but also really action-packed adventure and the first 50 pages of this book sucked me into the story and I was like so excited to read more of it but then once the story went on I lost a little bit of the interest. In the end something just wasn't a complete hit for me. I don't really know what exactly it was. Maybe it was that I wasn't super invested into the characters. I thought that they were okay, but they didn't really speak to me or I didn't necessarily have a connection with them. A really big plus point about this book is that it is quite action-packed and I really like this game world. I love books and stories like that. Ready Player One is one of my favorite reads ever. It kind of has similar vibes but it's definitely not as good as Ready Player One in my opinion. I was so excited the first 50 pages that I read it that I bought the second book in this duology but I haven't heard amazing things about that one so I am kind of hesitant that I will pick that one up. Like I don't want to read it but I have it in my collection now so I kind of feel like I will have to. The book did end on quite a big cliffhanger. Like I want to know what's gonna happen but it's not like I need to know you know <laughs> so I gave this book a three and a half out of five stars like I liked it but just something didn't really click with me unfortunately the next book that I finished is Solitaire by Ellis Oseman if you have seen my January wrap-up you know that I picked up Radio Silence by her uh, and that's one of my new favorite reads ever like it means so incredibly much to me I connected with that book I connected with the characters it's just something that I'm struggling with myself right now that one is all about uni and stress and studying and putting pressure on yourself and mental health struggles it's so so good um so I want to read all of Ellis Oseman's books right now I own all of them, I think? Yes, pretty much. And the Heartstopper comics, like the characters in those three graphic novels, come from the story Solitaire. So in Solitaire, we follow Tori, and Tori is not really mentally stable. And by mentally unstable, I believe that she's dealing with depression. I don't think that it is explicitly like said in this book that she has depression, but it is hinted at very heavily. Plus the way that she talks to the reader of the book, it definitely comes across as she has got some mental health issues. She walks through school and at her locker she finds this arrow and it's pointing towards a classroom and on a computer there is this big website, this big block. Things start happening at Tori's school which are very mysterious and very weird and revolve around this blog called Solitaire. Tori also meets new people because of this blog and I really don't know I cannot really say to you what it's about because it's just a coming of age story for Tori and the first half of it I really enjoyed it. I loved Ellis Oseman's writing style but Tori is a very strange main character. I don't think you're supposed to really like her. She does things which are not that great at all. I find this book so difficult to describe like what it's about. I liked it until like halfway through the book and after that it got 
kind of confusing. It was just a little bit strange. So I think I gave this one a three out of five stars because I did find some very profound things in this book, things that I did like. The friendship between Tori and Michael Holden, that is one of the characters in this book. Michael Holden was a great, great character. I loved him. He was really strange, but just really wonderful. And Tori has so many struggles regarding friendships. She and Michael, they form a really great one, I think at least. Michael is just a wonderful person. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I just want to read all of Ellis Oseman's books. But yeah, if you want to read all of her books, then do it. It was, it was fine, but I don't think that this is her best work. That's basically what I have to say about it. It was okay. <laughs> After that, I just wanted to check off another one of Roald Dahl's books off of my list and I read Fantastic Mr. Fox. I have this whole box set with like 12 or like 14 books of Roald Dahl and to be honest, I just wanted to add another book to my Goodreads challenge because this one is like 80 to 100 pages long. It is so, so tiny. We follow Mr. Fox and he is being threatened by these farmers who want to murder him and his family because Mr. Fox has been taking chickens and turkeys and they want to get revenge on him. And you follow his story of how he tries to beat the farmers. And it was cute and it was fun, but not like super special. So I give this one a three and a half out of five stars. After that, I decided that it was time that I finally pick up this book. I was so excited for this one to come out in November, but for some reason I still hadn't picked it up. And that one is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I'm like almost done with this book. I only need to read 66 pages. I'm almost finished and then I can check off another series from my TBR list and I'm so proud of that. I think you have all pretty much heard of the Cruel Prince trilogy. I think you either love it or kind of hate it and don't know why anyone thinks it's anything special. I personally really enjoyed the first book when it came out. I immediately read it because it was in my fairy loot subscription. I really liked The Wicked King, but until so far, I have to say not super impressed with The Queen of Nothing. Like, I like Holly Black's writing style. I really like this fantasy world. It's really quite dark and the characters are so questionable. You never know what they are going to do or what their plans are. So you're always kind of like questioning what is happening next. It's a little bit of an anti-climax. Anti-climax? How do you say it? It's a little bit uh, anticlimactic <laughs> until so far. I'm probably gonna finish it in the next two days. Today is March 1st, so technically not part of my February wrap up, but I probably, until so far, give it like a three and a half to a four out of five stars. Like I'm definitely enjoying it, but it's not really what I hoped for it to be. <laughs> so those are the three slash four-ish books that I read in February. February. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books or the books that you finished. I would really like to know that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. I just created Twitter, so please go follow me on that. But of course, because I'm a booktuber, I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will also be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!